Actually, I was going to use this song as our demo case, but I cannot find the original owner of the dance video. So I chose another video from a K-pop group, Easy. Big thanks to Yuna. In last class, we have learned some basic knowledge about the animation tools. In this lesson, we will learn how to use those techniques to do the motion capture cleanup. Since our FBX is from the motion capture AI tools, it's not quite stable and accurate, so it may take some time to do the detail cleanup. Actually, in reality, we should focus on how to enhance the accuracy of your motion capture files rather than later adjustment in the post-production. We will continue our project from the fourth video. In this class, we will do some repairment for the movement. Please open our attachment and drag this video to your Blender interface. Please make sure you are in the front view, the object mode. Ok, let's go to the first frame and play it. Your panda will dance with your reference video. The Y is stuck here. You can go to the image property and select this video and click here. It will sync the correct frame numbers of your reference video. Ok, we already finished our reference video setup. Now we can compare the reference video on the left and adjust your panda's movement. The panda still have a lot of problems that we need to fix it. For example, the hand was buried in the body and the foot looks like not quite stable, it's not always on the floor. Ok, let's move to our motion capture cleanup first step. Check your output setting of your projects. First, we check the render to EV. Then check the resolution and your output frames. Currently, your frame rate is 30. Back to your first frame, select your controller, tap and go to post mode. Ok, now you can try to move the hand and foot. You will find you cannot move it. You press G, but it's not work. This is because the FBS file we got from the AI motion capture tools was in FK mode. So we need to turn the FK mode to IK mode. Only the inverse kinematic can use your hand to drive the arm and the foot to drive the legs. So our next step is convert your FK to IK mode. Ok, before we do that, we better have a backup. Ok, let's save as a backup file. And change the name to backup cleanup. As a beginner, it's a good habit to backup step by step. Then if you have something you want to start over, you can quickly find the files. We need three windows to do the cleanup. First is the timeline. Let's drag a timeline and put on here. Let's drag another window and change the window to the nonlinear animation editor. For the above one, we change it to the dope sheet. Ok, select our controllers. Tap, turn it to the uh, post mode. Ok, back to the first frame. Ok, now we are in FK mode, so we cannot move the hand or G move the foot. We have to convert to IK mode. We'll use ARP to convert this. Ok, in post mode, select the hand first. And we'll find the tools. Please go to the tools tab, not the ARP tab, the tools tab. And you'll find there is an option here. Click this gear. It will show four options. If you cannot see it, please make sure you are in the post mode. Ok, find the fourth one, bake FK to IK, click it. Ok, input the last frame, FF9, click OK. It will take for a while. The system is baking every frame's FK to IK. Ok, you are done. Now select the right hand. Ok, same, bake the FK to IK. Wait a minute. Ok, you can try to move your hand now. Ok, now it work. Ok, we will do the same thing to your foot. Bake the FK to IK, change the last frame, then click OK. And this foot, click OK. Ok, we finish the foot converting. You can try to move your foot now. Press G. See, it's working. After converting to IK, it will make your cleanup process much easier and it's worth to do that. This is why I suggest everyone to learn ARP directly, because it's much faster. I have searched the FK to IK solutions on the YouTube, but I didn't find any tools is as easier as ARP. 
It's so quick and straightforward. So I think it's worth to do a tutorial and share to everyone. Okay, let's move to our next part, the third part, and the most boring part, the cleanup section. Please make sure your dope sheet is in the action editor part, because only in this mode you can change the action's name. Let's change the name to raw and push down to the AI editor. This is original dance animation information, and we won't change your original file. Click the no action layer above, and change the blending mode from replace to combine. It will combine your new action with your original one. If you are new to the AI editor and dope sheet, you can see our last video. Okay, let's select one foot and start to the cleanup. Okay, let's enable the auto king function. It will make our animation easier. Okay, in the post mode, let's play this video and check which one we need to adjust. The first problem is the panda fill off the red line after the second frame. We should make sure the foot is always on the X axis. Select the root controller, okay, G, Z, to make it higher. Okay, you can try to play now. Now your panda is always on the red line. Even though the foot is not stable, we'll change it later. But the baseline after the second frame is correct. But you can see the foot is always sometimes fall off from the ground. That's why we need to change it. This is because we are using the AI motion capture. So the foot step is not that accurate. We need to change it manually. Okay, we select the foot first and back to the first frame and play the video. Let's see in which frame it starts to be inaccurate. You can see in the second frame, it's already inaccurate. Let's go to the side view and change the foot. Front view, change the foot. Okay, let's keep moving. Okay, it seems that every frame is not that accurate on the floor. You select this point and shift D, drag it to the uh, 20 frame. And then you can play it and uh, you can adjust in the middle. Front view, adjust it. Okay, you can play again. So you can do some uh, slightly change until you're happy with the function. Okay, for example. Okay, this is the basic uh, method that you are do some adjustment. You try to play the video and uh, you do the uh, adjustment and make sure it uh, um, is always on the ground. You can use Shift D to duplicate some keyframe changes, um, and you can do some little adjustment in between these changes. Don't worry, you can override something. It's because we are using the combined blending mode, so it won't affect your raw animation file. Since it's a long adjustment uh, process, I will do some speed up for this part. Okay, after you're happy with your adjustment, you can change your action name to foot. This part is not that technical and hard to understand. You have to use G and R to continue adjust your foot until you are happy with the uh, animation. If you found your animation is not unstable, it's always shaking, you can do some smooth. Let's change this uh, viewport to the graph editor. Press Shift to select the both feet. Then A, select all of the keyframes. Okay, you can see it's half shaking and unstable. Let's do some smooth. You can go to the key menu and find the smooth here. Select the Russian smooth and drag. Please don't make it 100%, just maybe 30% is okay because 100% will uh, smooth all of your detail and movement. Okay, I think 30% is okay. Play again. Okay, now the foot is not perfect, but it's much better than before. Okay, this is how we do the animation smooth. Okay, let's back to the dope sheet. Make sure you are in the editor mode. Press push down. Now you have two actions in the NLA editors. One is foot and one is the original one. You can uncheck the foot layer. You can play again. So this is the original animation without the foot cleanup. You can check this one. Okay, you can see the difference. 
Now we can continue to repair our hand movement. The hand still have a lot of problems. Okay, um, uh, let's click the no action layer and uh, make sure the blending mode is combined. Now we start to fix our hand. You can start to play from the first frame and move forward. Uh, you can see uh, maybe in this frame, the hand have some problems. We can just uh, G and move out a little bit. Play again, okay, you can see the difference. You can continue to uh, play your animation and uh, adjust your hand. Use G and R. Make sure it's not hiding in the body. Okay, the hand adjustment is the same as the foot. I will speed up this session. Please be careful when you use the rotation. Sometimes it will create some weird angle of your hand. The adjustment should be slightly. The cleanup process could be very long and boring. It requires you to be patient and focus on the detail. When you're happy with your movement, you can change the name and push down. Now you have three blocks actions in your ALA editors. Try to use blend in and blend out to make your uh, action blocks transition more natural. Okay, after you finish your mocap cleanup, we will go to the fourth part, bake your action. Click edit in your AI editor and select bake action. Okay, make sure you uncheck the only selected bones. Otherwise, it will only bake the selected bones action. And make sure you are in the pose mode. Okay, let's click OK. It will start to bake. Okay, the bake process complete. You can rename it, maybe final reversion 1. And push down to the AI editor. You can uncheck the lower three layers and play a game. Let's take a look. You can see the new layers just combine the three layers actions. Actually, you can delete these layers, but before you delete these layers, you can press tab, go to the edit mode, and give each layer a um, fake user. So after you delete those actions, it will still save in your Blender file. You delete action is here. The F means it has a fake user. Okay, that's all for the motion capture session. We have introduced the whole workflow of how to clean up your motion capture files. When you're happy with the panda dance, you can create a scene and put your panda in it. See you in the next video. Cut tips.